Stepping through the halls, we don't tiptoe. Kill streaks like we dominate in skid row. When we down, you still never see my click throw. I just pull up on you with Kimbo. Stomping through the halls, we don't tiptoe. Tip Kill streaks like we dominate in skid row. When we down, you still never see my click throw. I just pull up on you with Kimbo. PPW Nation, welcome back to the Prairie Pro Wrestling YouTube channel. We are the Video Bros. We're going to get to the big introductions in just a moment with you. But we're, first, we're going to take you to some footage here that we've got for how this match came about between Colton Kelly and Tony Novak, this number one contenders match. Let's go to the footage right now. Boys in the track, roll the tape.
she's got wrestling gear, and she's got the ability to get punched in the face just like these two of you. Well, there you have it. That's what set things up here. We'll talk about that in a minute because let's get to the proper introductions. We are the Video Bros. I'm Bobby Munson, the man beside me, the man with the angelic voice, Pop the Smokes. Pop the Smokes, happy Saturday, brother. How are you doing? Happy Saturday, Munson. Happy Saturday to all you PTW Nation out there. We got ourselves a number one contenders match here, Munson. We sure do. Yes, you saw right there in the form of PPW management, Crash Brimson. Allowing the champion Sheik Akbar Shabazz to name his opponent, any wrestler that was in the ring there, and he picked TFA. So he's going to be taking on TFA coming up here on the Prairie Pro Wrestling YouTube channel very soon, Papa Smokes. But before then, in the meantime and in between time, we're going to find ourselves our next number one contender, and both these two had stakes in this game. Cody Novak feeling like he was cheated last time out against Sheik Akbar Shabazz, feeling like he should be the new Prairie Pro Wrestling Champion. But his opponent here tonight, Colton Kelly, cutthroat Colton Kelly to be exact, won himself that tag team matchup when he teamed up with Cannonball Kelly. He pinned the champion in that tag team matchup and he has yet to receive that number one contenders match, Bob and Smoke. So both these guys are gonna be looking to seal the deal here tonight and be named the new number one contender to Akbar's title. And you know, Crash Crimson had a big problem on his hands because both of these competitors, Colton Kelly and Tony Novak, both had uh, both had reason to believe that they were the number one contender. Both had good reason to want that and demand that match against Sheik Bakbar Shabazz, but both being in the position where they need to now fight each other in order to have a winner, in order to have one number one contender to stand up against the Sheik. And I know that the PBW Nation be excited to see either one of these matches. They were pretty excited when they thought Tony had grasped that title last time out. But they've been waiting for the return of Gold Kelly here, Papa Smokes. The PBW Nation is pumped, as pumped as these two individuals are right now, ready to lock up and start this thing off so we can find that new number one contender the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship. And whoever that may be, again, both guys got their eyesight on the current champ, Sheik Akbar Shabazz, but as announced, Karen from Accounting, TFA has got the opportunity of a lifetime to defeat the Sheik and possibly become the new Prairie Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. And you know, Tony Novak and Colton Kelly come to this match with all kinds of momentum behind them. Both have had sterling records in PPW, lots of pinfall victories, rising above that competition. But of course, both want that ultimate prize, that shiny PPW heavyweight championship that the Sheik Akbar Shabazz has had a stranglehold on for over a year in Saskatoon. Well over a year, in fact, creeping up towards two years, Papa Spokes, I believe that I said it out loud recently, he is reaching that 600-day mark very, very soon with the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship. Who can beat him? They keep lining up, and the Sheik keeps finding a way to get himself out of it, but these two individuals are going to look to put an end to the reign of the Prairie Pro Wrestling Champion very, very soon. 
But what we want you to do for us right now, if you haven't done so already, is go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. It's going to let the world know everything about Prairie Pro Wrestling and all the stars inside the ring. No big surprise in this match so far. Colton Kelly has been using his superior strength and greater weight so far to get the advantage over Tony Novak. But look at Novak right back with that quickness and agility. A couple of drop kicks and he's back in the driver's seat. Both these two individuals, Pop and Smokes, they feed off the PPW Nation, and the PPW Nation are loud here tonight in Saskatoon, cheering both individuals on. Who is going to be able to use that advantage of the crowd here tonight to get that win? Who's going to be able to take advantage of the heart and tenacity that these two show in their matchups to be able to overcome the odds and become the new number one contender? Cover here, Tony Novak moved to put this way early, and he was close, Pop, folks. When you think about it, you know, the Saskatoon fans have been strongly behind Tony Novak for years and years in this province. He's had a lot of matches around Saskatoon, around Saskatchewan. But uh, Colton Kelly, since he's been appearing for PPW, very, very popular wrestler. He's got accolades upon accolades all over Western Canada and all over Canada in general. The fans have taken to him immediately. Very, very popular star here. So I think they're a little bit torn in this match. Which which of these two wrestlers would they like to see against Sheik Akbar Shabazz? And which one has the better chance of finally unseating him? And Tony was awfully close. And you see, he's bringing the fight here to Colton Kelly, surprisingly. Giving away a lot of strength and size, as you mentioned earlier, Pop Smokes, and with one chop, Tony Novak in front down by Colton Kelly. Wow, what a chop. Only a two count there. Kelly's thinking he maybe should have had the pinfall from that one chop to the chest there that shows you the power that he lays that in with. He sends a little frustration on the part of Colton Kelly here, Papa Smokes. I mean, he gets a very welcoming return here to Prairie Pro Wrestling after a leg injury that kept him out for months, kept him on the shelf and prevented him from that opportunity against Sheik Akbar Shabazz. Watching challenger after challenger take that spot that was supposed to be his. In his eyes, you kind of see behind it a little bit, a little bit of frustration and darkness growing on the side of Colton Kelly. Absolutely, Munson. There's got to be some frustration built up. He was running hot at the time that his injury happened. He had all the men momentum behind him in, in PPW. The fans, the wins, the work in the ring, everything was going his way. Then that injury happened, and then now his title shot was thrown into, uh, into turmoil, so to speak. And, uh, nobody was sure whether he was going to get that title shot when he returned. There was frustration with PPW management over that. I don't think Colton Kelly believes he should even have to defeat Tony Novak in this match. I think he believes he's deserved of a title shot. Not to mention, Bob Smokes, that Colton Kelly did have a one-on-one -on -one with Sheik Akbar Shabazz previously and did not come up victorious, only ended up getting a disqualification, well he came up victorious mind you, but by disqualification when uh, El Asesino interfered in the match, creating a deep disqualification and Sheik hanging on to his title. So again, Colton Kelly deservingly thinks that he should be in the in the picture for the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship already. Well, imagine how Colton Kelly felt after that match. To the, to the PPW fans and to everybody watching and to Colton Kelly. He had that match won. He had the sheep down for one, two, three. Then what does he get for his efforts? Not only does he not get the PPW championship, but he's on the receiving end of a sneak attack by El Asesino. Chair shots after chair shots over the back, over the head. He very much hurt Colby Kelly. Very much put him out of the scene for that night. He's got a lot of frustration built up about a lot of things right now. And a very close call just now, Papa spoke. Tony Novak seemingly getting under the skin of Colton Kelly here as he's building a lot of momentum. 
Look at that. Colton oh. Kelly, the big man, takes Tony Novak down with a little bit of that big man agility. Goes for the cover. No, still not enough. Some fight left in Tony Novak. See the pain on both these two individuals right now, Papa Smokes, but they are looking to fight through that pain. They are looking to give it all that they can because the prize is on the line, that opportunity at the goal. And what a prize it is, too, when you've only had one championship holder. Everybody wants to be the one to cement their name next to the very first. Colton Kelly was looking to finish it, but Tony Novak again, well scouted, well reversed. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Four, a little 6 3 9 from the SK comes Tony Novak. It could all be over right here, Papa Spokes. Oh, yeah, Colton Kelly in big trouble. No, two and three oh. quarters, but Tony oh. Novak could taste it. Oh boy. Colton Kelly is absolutely stunned right now, trying to gain his composure. And Tony Novak trying to think about what he's got left. What can he do to put this to rest? He has got all the momentum on his side, looking for the big upset here today. Colton Kelly with that straight catch oh. of Tony Novak, holy! Oh, Good and it's God. not enough! Can you believe this, Papa Smokes? I can't believe that match didn't end right there. That power bomb just about put him right through the middle of the ring. That just shows how much the Prairie Pro Wrestling Championship means to every single person in that locker room right there. Show, says it all, Papa Smokes. There is a lot of division within the PPW Nation. We have got Tony Chance. We have got Colton Chance. People don't know who they want to see win this thing. Colton's looking to finish this off right now. Go for one more powerbomb. Tony's all the way up. But Tony's fighting it, Papa Spokes. And, oh, look Whoa. at this. Both men to the outside. Oh, good Lord. A horrible spill there. Both bodies to the floor, Papa Spokes. We have got an absolute wild one up in Saskatoon here tonight. This is gut check time in this match, Munson. Both these competitors have taken some huge shots in this. Both very, very groggy. We're going to see who wants it more. Who can make it back into the ring before that count? And who's going to get the one, two, three? Before you go too far, Pop Smokes, we've had the bell. The referee's called for the bell. We have just had a double count out. There was a count of 10 officially here, Pop Smokes. The referee has counted it. That is the decision. And I don't know what this means for the number one contendership, but we have had a double count out here tonight, Pop Smokes. Well, this isn't going to solve anything. We needed a winner in this match. Sure did, but we're unfortunately not going to get one. So apparently that is going to wrap it up for Bird Pro Wrestling on this wonderful Saturday afternoon. We hope you enjoyed this matchup and hope that you'll return again next Saturday to join myself and Papa Smokes for more Bird Pro Wrestling action. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you in one week's time.